Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss K&N air filters. I've been using K&N for over 30 years on every car and motorcycle during that time. Uh, I also run it in my uh, new ZX6R, right? So every vehicle that I own gets a K&N because I can follow instructions and I can recharge it. Now, on YouTube, you're going to see a lot of videos from mechanics complaining that, you know, the valves aren't seating correctly and has a K&N, so must be a K&N filter. So that's the most ridiculous logic I've ever heard in my life because that mechanic has no idea of the history of that motorcycle. Could have been run without an air filter for five years. 50,000 miles, for all that guy knows. But it came in with a K&N, so it must be a K&N problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't buy that logic because, again, I've been using them for 30 years, plus years. So I know, you know, what happens when you use a K&N correctly. So uh, on this vehicle, my Mustang, uh, this is six years old, 44,000 miles. K&N's been in there since the beginning. Recharged once at 30,000 miles. So we're about 15,000 miles into, uh, you know, after post-recharge. Here's the clean side. Here's the dirty side. Now, OEM paper filter, this would need to be uh, replaced at this interval. K&N, you come in there, you bang it out, you get some of the bugs out, you throw it right back in. This is good for another 15,000 miles before I have to recharge it. Now, uh, this intake tube, this is, I put on this relative about 4,000 miles ago just to dress up the engine bay. So I took the original intake tube off the shelf for, uh, for this video so that we could take a look at the interior of the intake tube that's been mated to this K&N for 40,000 miles in six years to see if there's any evidence inside the intake tube of dust or excessive oil. Uh, you know, all the normal complaints about, you know, people on the Internet who are saying K&N, uh, you know, will ruin your engine or whatever. Uh, it's absolutely false, and I can tell you that is the case, in at least my case, because I maintain them properly. So, you know, here's the intake tube, and it's pristine. No dust, no oil, nothing but cleanliness inside of that intake tube on this Mustang with 40,000 miles. There is absolutely zero evidence of anything out of the ordinary or any large particles or oil or anything else inside of that intake tube. So you can save money by using K&N. Forget about the performance increase. You're gonna get a slight performance boost. That's really not the point. The point is it's a reusable filter and it filters just as good as OEM. Now OEM paper filters will start to clog as the pores are used those pores are no longer able to process air through. Over time, performance will decrease to a point where you have to change them. K&N, slightly different. It's an active filter, meaning that the, the oil traps the dirt. The dirt then becomes part of the filtration media. Very cool technology. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, if you can follow instruction, if you're meticulous about maintaining things, then you can use K&N. Otherwise, it may be too complicated for you and just stick with the OEM. Paper filters. Thank you for watching.